Hey guys, Sandy Butchers here. Today I want to take up some of your time to show you what the Singularian Grimoire anthologies have been going through over the last 12 months. Um, most of you already know that in January 2021, um, I started with a pretty unique science fiction fantasy um, project, which consists of a monthly lore book that is fully illustrated um, and has another volume of stories coming out every month. Um, but the stories aren't individual. Well, they are in a way, but they are also very interconnected. So the idea of the entire series is that it's basically just one giant puzzle that, you know, throughout the months, throughout the year, the season, um, you get to solve a lot of mysteries that are going on and you get to click some pieces of the puzzle together uh, and you start finding the overall narrative that has been going on in this story. Um, now, I wrote these myself, I illustrated them myself. Um, I have been working on creating the, an, an entire universe around the story. Um, so a lot of things have happened uh, throughout this year. Um, and just to give you a little bit of a, um, a sneak peek behind the scenes, you know, uh, on, on what has actually been going on, because you obviously only get to see the book um, with its illustrations. I can tell you there is a lot more going on than just that. Um, so I thought, you know, it's December, this is the time to look back, um, you know, on what's been happening throughout the year. Um, so let me take you through the process of the story, of the illustrations, of everything that has been involved with it. Um, but let's also spend some time looking ahead at what's coming in 2022. Because some of you already know that um, the first season has been extended with a second season, uh, which will launch the very first episode in January 2022. Um, so stick around um, and I hope you are going to watch this all with me. Um, if you like what you see, leave a comment down below. Um, and if you want to support me as an artist or as a writer, um, that subscription button holds more value than you can possibly imagine. So feel free to hit it. Um, I'll keep you up to date on whatever else is going on behind the scenes here on the Singular and Grimoire Anthologies. Uh, and I hope to see you around. <laughs> As an artist, I always found it very difficult to look back at my work and then deal with the, the difference in, uh, in, in art level or, you know, of, of, of the, how complicated my illustrations were a year back uh, and how they are now. Because it doesn't matter how long you have been working as an artist, like your work always evolves. Um, and this is also the case here. I, like, I mean, I, when I started this book, my illustrations were on a completely different level than they are now. Um, and now being December 2021, so that's exactly 12 months after I started the initiative. Um, and it's funny because when I look back now, I'm, I'm looking at these things and I'm like, hmm, well, this could have been done better. And, and you know, this, this was definitely lack of style development still. Like I was, you can see I was still searching for what style to adapt for the illustrations. Uh, and I think that actually in book three, that's the first book where I've sort of made up my mind and thought, okay, um, this is how it's going to be. This is the overall style that you're going to be seeing for the next, you know, whatever amount of months. Um, but just looking back at these first two books, it's, it, in a way it's kind of adorable because they really are just sketches and, and it was still... You, you can tell that the idea was um, to have the story be much more important than the illustrations. And then in book three, you, you see that there is an evolution going on where the, the, the illustrations become part of the story um, and where... They, they are almost as important as the story itself so you can you can see there's a shift in balance going on and 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 in one way i really love seeing that process and on the other hand when i when i look back at it now and i'm, I'm working on this uh, final bundle you know with all the stories uh, come together in a leather bound hardcover and everything and i'm, I'm looking back and i'm like oh, should i be changing these first illustrations of book one and two uh, because you know the difference is so oh man it's ginormous i mean it's well it's it's not not in a bad way, but it's just, you know, I've, I've developed so much in this year, so it, it's, it almost feels like a shame to not change that. Uh, but at the same time, these images are part of the evolution, so I, I should actually honor them, keep them in. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just really cool to see how things have progressed in 12 months time. You know, not only as a writer, but also as an actual artist. So one of the first community puzzles that I slingshot into this world um, happened in May 
2021, and it all started with the cover of Volume 5, which was called Hidden Frequencies. Now, of course this book was called Hidden Frequencies for a reason, because the entire story is about uh, Nakia, who is able to filter out different frequencies um, in the world. She can um, hear sounds from the past, she can see things from the future, and all kinds of stuff going on. Um, but another hidden frequency was actually hidden in the cover. And I'm going to show this to you, um, you know, really up close. But if you look carefully, and some of you just, you know, might have um, thought that these numbers were random, but they weren't. Um, this was actually the first secret message for you to decipher. Um, and it was, it was crazy insane how many people actually messaged me like, is this what it's saying? Is it, is it supposed, is it a cipher? Um, and it was, it was just, it was amazing to see how many people were putting their brains together um, to sort of crack the cipher and see, you know, what it said on the cover. Um, and the people who stuck around long enough actually realized that the message on the, on the cover, and I'm not going to spoil what the message is, I'm going to leave that up to you to decipher it. Um, but the people who did crack it in the end, um, they were amazed by what happened in um, books 11 and 12 because everything is going to come together and those who already saw um, what it said on uh, cover number five, they were like, whoa, that's, I mean, yeah, it was kind of, it, it was one of those unique moments where as a writer and as an artist, I just sat back and enjoyed the show because people were just, they were doing it and it was fantastic to see that happening. Um, so yeah, that was definitely one of the highlights um, of this year for me, absolutely. Another magical moment happened in July when book seven actually um, was released, which was The Ties That Bind. Um, and um, um, looking at the overall narrative, this was the, the first time we actually went back to Sovereign Story. So the first two books are basically about his past, how he came to be, what happened, and how he actually lost his memory. And then almost half a year later, we go back to his story arc um, to find out what he is doing now. and. What are the problems that he was running into? How was he um, surviving on his own out there without getting caught as the, fine, the last Singularian? Um, and inside this book, there was another little thing that um, people by now may have known that you know nothing happens without a reason in these books. And I'm just gonna quickly um, go through to the page um, that I'm actually looking for because um, there was a lot of things happening with computers in this book. Um, and none of it was random. Now, of course, when I want to have that page, I can't find it. You'll always see that happening. Oh, there it is. Um, so there was a page where people got to see this, and I hope it kind of shows, um, but there is a, a whole bunch of ones and zeros, and the, the computer nerds uh, amongst us, <laughs> or, you know, the geekies, um, they are actually familiar with what ones and zeros mean, um, because obviously it's a binary code. Um, and again, the same kind of thing happened um, as what happened in May with the book, um, with book five, The Hidden Frequencies. People were just gathering together, putting their brains together and cracking the, um, the binary code that I you know, put into this book. And again, it was, it was just magical to see how everyone sort of fussed about and got these theories up and running because what it said you know, was, was it anything was gonna happen? Was it a hint? Was it a, a premonition or something? Like, what were they gonna do with that information? Um, and it, it's just, like I said, it's, it's kind of the magical moment where you see stuff happening, where you see the puzzle pieces click together and like, yes, you know, it works. Um, so for me, that was one of those moments where um, it really showed how successful the idea of these, um, it's, it's, a, it's an interactive narration and it was just really cool to see it actually work. So um, yeah, that was definitely another highlight of the year. Another milestone this year happened when the first 10 patrons had subscribed to the books. Um, and there was an initiative that I started from the beginning, which was called the Legendary First 10. So the, the first 10 people to subscribe to the books, um, they, were, they were legends for me. They, they were absolute heroes, and they still are actually, because uh, I think every one of them is, is still in there. Um, and I had those, these badges made for them, um, I, did, I know, just to sort of, as a token of appreciation, but also <laughs> for them to show off their fandom, like they were, they were in it from the beginning, they, they are legends. Um, and I remember that I, I felt 
I, don't, I can't even describe it. It was like happiness, it was pride, it was, you know, they, I, it was kind of overwhelming in a way to, to just see 10 people subscribing from out of nowhere to your work and to get those books every month. And it, there's just an amazing, an amazing layer of gratitude um, in there. And it, it yeah, it's, if I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing next year, obviously not with the first 10, but there are going to be uh, a bunch of legends among you again. Um, in a different number and there's going to be a, a different um, collector's item connected to that so yeah I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that moment again. Mm -hmm.